Ho ho! Hello, my hearties! Dinky do! It's just me, Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live. Sunday evening, nothing gets past me, and a very, very warm welcome to the Scotty McClue Sunday evening show. Show number 115. How amazing is that? I think that's absolutely incredible. 115 shows since we started. Just over two years ago. Amazing. Wonderful Gordon Roddick has just joined us. Dinky Doo Gordon. Lovely to know you are there. One of our top broadcasters. Excellent stuff. And uh, D. Gurley. John Hanlon. Hello, Scotty. Good show last night, says Gordon Riley. I thank you, Gordon. Now, for those of you who don't know, Scotty McClue is on Nation Radio Friday, Saturday, Sunday at 10 o'clock sharp in the evening. So do come and join me. In fact, this broadcast may be slightly curtailed as I have to get on to the radio. So there we are. Listening in Balfron, how amazing is that? Brian Wilson, dinky do, Scotty, dinky do, Brian. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome to our Sunday evening pop up. Hello, Scooey, says Scotty, says Julie and Scott. So they are Vincenti Bimendi. Good evening, Scotty. How are you tonight, says Gavin Walker. I am tremendous, Gavin. Looking forward to broadcasting with you tonight. If you live in Scotland, you'll get me on 96.3. Or you can go on, of course, to nationradio.scot on the internet. Or best thing to do is to check your data, download a radio player app, and, of course, put in Nation Radio Scotland 96.3. Nation Radio 96.3 FM Scotland. That's it. We bucket trickle south. Hello. Scotty from Dublin. How are you in Dublin tonight? How lovely to hear from you. This is what I love about the international show. This is what I love about the technology and the whole internet thing. It is absolutely outstanding. Hello from Florida. Dinky do, Florida. Welcome, welcome. I say the whole world is watching Scotty McClue right now. Good evening. How are you tonight? Excellent stuff. Keith Watherspoon, Billy Wright. Tremendous stuff. Uh, Mickey Emsgath Cocker, good evening. Hamish Carr, Susan Forrest watching, brilliant stuff. Scotty, have you taken over the internet, says John Hanlon. That's what it feels like, John. We bucket from Salt Killed Scythe. First Lord of the Internet, Scotty McClue runs the internet. There we are. Uh, I'll listen to your show at 10 p.m. and put on for my passengers in the taxi, says the wonderful Martin Monaghan. Thank you. Uh, Mark Gibbert, hello from Florida. That is amazing. Hello, Paul. Says Thomas Hamilton. Hi, Thomas. What about the march yesterday, Scotty? No appetite for Indy. Oh. How many were on the march yesterday, would you say? Let's get a decent figure. Uh, could it be a 100,000? Something like that. There's a massive, massive appetite for Indy. Uh, what's the topic tonight, says John Hanlon. Ah, we don't give things away, John, of course. Top secret. There you are. You've got to guess. How amazing is that? Uh, evening, says Andy Hughes. Good evening to Nick Baldy, Steve Burroughs. Tracy Ann. Ali Yogi. Hi, Scotty. Never felt so exhausted. Good old you, Ali. Keep your strength up, I say. Sharing as ever on True Radio, Dinky Doo. Henry Newton, thank you for that. Oh, and I born to pick with you that picture of you with STV on your head. Lol. I think you know what I was on about, says Gordon Riley. <laughs> I had a big hairstyle then, a big bonnet, and it's a picture outside Scottish television taken in, I think, probably about 1986, 87, something like that. Um, when I was doing quite a lot of presentation on Scottish television. And um, it, uh, it shows the headquarters, the old Coo Cadden's headquarters. Well, they were quite new then, actually, because Scottish television, uh, as Gordon Roddick will back me up here, started in the Theatre Royal in Glasgow. Amazing, they took over the old Theatre Royal before it was done up. Fair cheered me up, Scotty. Brilliant. Hi, says Ian Johnson. Hi, Ian. Lovely to have you with us, and I hope every single one of you will join me, because there's no excuses for not coming and joining me on Nation Radio in 96.3, on 96.3, in my ins and my arms right, on 96.3 FM in Scotland. 
So there you are, fantastic radio station, huge. Wendy Walker says, hello, hello. Hi, Scotty, how are you tonight? Nicola Malone McPhail, how lovely to hear from you. Good evening, says Karen Cox, good evening. Gordon Riley, good answer. Best station, when you had, you were always on it. Thank you very much. Cheer, cheer, cheer. That's the right way to eat stovies, says Nick Baldwin. We might discuss that on the radio tonight. Hi, my dabbing pal. Hi, John Cameron. Dab, dab. Fantastic stuff. Lol, says John Hanlon. Sandra McMenamin there. Keeping it under the bonnet. Under the bonnet. The symbol of authority in the media is the bonnet. The symbol of authority in the UK is the crown. The crown of Scotland. And uh, uh, King Edward's crown, of course. St. Edward's crown. I should say, is that right? Have I got that right? Hello from Sandra in Greenock. Sandra McMenamin. Dinky do love to Greenock. They are, I can see your webbed feet from here. Glasgow Taxi Owners Association are sharing your broadcast, says Martin Morgan. So they should be. Very, very important. The home of Scotty McClure. Glasgow in the west of Scotland. Giuseppe Pizzotti is watching. Uh, Kevin Malcolm McGregor, Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us by the way um, guys can I say thank you there's Wally K as well and Arthur Davis can I say thank you thank you thank you to all the millions of you who have stuck by Scotty McClue through thick and thin. I'm not talking about myself obviously and uh, you know uh, you've stuck with me over many 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 years 26 years we've been broadcasting the radio phone ends and you've stuck with me and it's fantastic and the best quote of the week that i got this week i thought it was fabulous somebody said whoever was responsible or had a hand in us not having scotty mcclue on the uk airwaves should be made to spend the rest of their life standing in a corner, facing the wall, and wearing a dunce's hat. <laughs> I had to laugh at that one. I thought that was beautiful. So thank you, thank you, thank you, you wonderful quarters. Richie McCusker, Rev Hill. All right, Scotty Pal, says Richie. Of course, Mark Allen Hall. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Mark Allen Hall. Top man, Scotty. This is Thomas Hamilton. Abdul Majid, come and join us. Uh, play my single, Sandra Harrison. Go, Lassie, go. On YouTube, a single, says Sandra McMenamin. I'll look into that, Sandra. Well done, my darling. You're a singer. I've been subjected to the Alan Bezik show on BBC Radio Lancaster. It's a John Hanlon, excellent show. Alan Bezik, top man. Hi, Scotty, in Tenerife, off to see Tenerife's number one act, Billy Porter, best act in the island. You're fantastic, says David Lafferty, as are you, David Lafferty. Dinky do, I'd say. Dina the Doug, will matey boy be on tonight? Ha ha. Major Boy, for those of you who don't know, and you should know, uh, has become a caller. Remember the show is now, what have we had? Um, four, five, six, seven. The show is eight hours old. Eight hours. That's how old the show is, right? Hmm. Ugh. And it's already become famous, and we've got a great caller called Matey Boy who comes on. So we'll see Matey Boy's on tonight. Colin Greg, Dinky you do. Derek says his friend is going out with a cement bag now uh, because they're paving their future together. Stop that, Scotty, says Ian Johnston. Uh, you stop that, I'll tell you. If anyone doesn't know you're on Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube, they've been living in a cave, says John Hanlon. Yes, absolutely. They have been um, an alien life form from another planet, and they've just arrived, and they've met earthlings, and they go... Honey, is this home of Scotty McClue? <laughs> Ali Yogi. Scotty, I'm 26 in five weeks. When did you start? Seriously, 26 years ago, Ali. So I think you would just be about to be born when Scotty McClue was doing phone-ins on the wireless just for you, dinky-doo. What about that? Dermot Scotty McVicker's watching. One of the finest men 
on the planet. Damn it, Scotty McVicker, I salute you, sir. Not only are you a lovely guy, you are off great stock. You come from a wonderful, wonderful family. And by the way, I checked that picture of you with the gong. I might go and see if I can find it and show it to you. How about that? Uh, how amazing is that? And also, may I bid you and your good lady wife, Leslie, a very very, very happy silver wedding commemorating 25 years together, celebrating 25 years together, your silver wedding. So Dermot Scotty McVicker in Vancouver, Canada, dinky do, and a very, very happy anniversary to Leslie and you. And of course, to the dogs, dinky do. Excellent stuff. You're a top man, Scotty, for 96.3 FM. Not until 10 o'clock tonight. So there we are. We are live on Facebook now. Hello from Blackpool. I know I love it here, Mark Allen Hall. I used to go to Blackpool every weekend. And, of course, I was known from the radio. So, everybody, come in, Scotty. How are you? Can I get you a wee drink? <laughs> what a life. Ooh. Then I come out and see the big one all lit up and the tower. And, oh, wow, absolutely magic. So, there you go. Uh, and in the summer, you know, just walking about in the early in the morning, summer's evening. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Hello, Scotty, sweetheart. How's tricks as Rabs? How's tricks with you, Rab? I'll tell you. Um, you'd be arrested if your Scotty FM show was in here these days. These were the best days. I tuned religiously back then, says Billy Halliday. Well, the thing is, no, I don't think I'd be arrested at all, but the thing is, uh, we were quite up front. Sandra McMenamin, you never change. I love your crazy. <laughs> you need a bit of that, Sandra. There we are, we Grinokians have to stick together. Looking forward to the phone in again, Scotty. It's going better every week. Yes, Steve. People don't realise a guy last week said, it's different from your old show. And I uh, texted him back and I said to him, Bairns and idiots should not see a job half done. You know, a brand new show on a brand new radio station. Do people not realise you've got to start somewhere. So there we are. Give us a wee song, Scotty. Scott FM was the same. When I came up to Scott FM, there were only a handful of listeners, and then we took that to quarter of a million every half hour. Now, there we are. And then, you know, obviously, it put somebody's nose out of joint, and because uh, cause I had to go. You're the top man, Scotty, so meaty boy. Uh, Brian Wilson, yes, lol. Good evening, Scotty. Uh, are you enjoying your new show? I am loving my new show. And I'll be on in, wait till we see, whoa, 45 minutes time. What's the phone number for tonight? Says Hamish Carr. Now, Hamish, Tell me if you can see the phone number on the introduction to this video, because you should be able to, all right? You should be able to see the phone number on the introduction to the video. If you can't see it, do let me know. But it's 01418110475. All right. So you should know that. Scotty, is it true when you wear at school... And your teacher asks where Uganda, and your school and your teacher asks Uganda, where's Uganda was, said I'm at home with the in bed in the <laughs> Uganda. <laughs> Say Uganda. Where's Uganda? Is all home in bed with Magani? Uh, I was 12 when you started, says John Cameron. John Cameron, amazing. I meet people to this day. It's quite incredible. I meet people to this day that say, hey, Scotty, I used to come on your show. I was so-and-so. You know, and they tell you it's fantastic. How tasky. David Turner, where are your boys? Sandra says, I was listening to the phone in radio in the car on my way to sing in Blackpool. Wonderful, Sandra. We need to hear more of you singing, by the way, my darling. Denny Jimmy Walker says, do you like the jokes he has on your radio nation, uh, nation radio? 
Yes, they're, they're actually very good, Wendy. A lot of them are quite good. Can you say good night to my wife, Pamela Cameron? She told me to turn you down. Never, ever turn Scotty McClure down. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Stephen Brown, Charles McLaughlin, calm down in that vodka and lemonade. Oh, so for good weather. <laughs> Ooh. Very lush. Very lush, I say. Marianne Thompson, hello. Should I have a tie on tonight, guys? I wondered if I should have had a tie on. Do you mind if I don't? Um, I can put one on for you. So there we are, Greg MacArthur. Hello, folks. Keep on keeping on, Scotty. You mad mental man, says Greg MacArthur. Harsh, Greg. Harsh. So wonderful stuff. You look on me, Scotty. We have a problem. We're having an early night, and my missus has told me to turn you off. Can you have a word with her here? Her name's Nicola. Now, Nicola Welsh, let you and me just have a what? Is there really a need to go to bed early? Or could you be doing maybe a wee bit high dusting? Maybe polishing a wee bit brass? That sort of thing. See, my missus once said to me, she said, I said, what do you want for your birthday, darling? She said, I want something to brighten my life up, brighten the place up, you know? So I got a tin of brasso. <laughs> that'll, brighten, that'll brighten the place up. Right, here we go. I won't tell you what she said, you know, or did. Uh, spill the beans, Scotty. What happened to Scott FM? Don't tell half a story, pal. David Turner, I would not to like to drop anybody in it, be magnanimous in victory, but something obviously happened, didn't it? You know? I mean, just think about it. I'm upsetting the opposition by having a larger audience of them in two years when they've been on 20 years. And then suddenly it's goodbye, Scotty. Come on. Uh, 01418110475, says Brian Wilson. Dinky do. Uh, John Hanlon, dinky do. Yes, but you have to tell half a story. You can't tell the full story. Uh, Greg MacArthur, Matthew Roberts, I'll see you for a pint uh, at the end of November. Very good, Greg. Saving up, are we? Excellent. No, you don't need it. You are a mental gentleman, says Sandra McMenamin. I don't need, I don't drink, Sandra. I used to enjoy a good refreshment, but I don't bother now. Ooh. I stick to the Adam's ale. Uh, cheers, your legend. She laughed, hearing her name, says John Cameron. Absolutely. You don't have to go to bed too early. She could do a wee bit of high dusting for you. Make you a wee cup of tea. Was in last night with the Trouble and Strife. Good band playing, says Matthew Roberts. Excellent. Beef stew and dumplings we had tonight, says Wendy Walker. You're feeding them too well, Wendy. You'll end up staying with you, you know. No tie required, says the lovely Susan Forrest. Are you sure, Susan Forrest? Because I have a variety of ties and I could pop one on. Do you want me to try one on and then I could take it off again if it doesn't suit? You're brilliant. Love you, says Sandra McMenamin. So are you. Love you. Mwah! You singer that you are. Sing your song, I say. Should smoking be reclassified as an illness? Instead of an addiction, yes, you need to be very, very ill to be a smoker in this day and age, Dean of the Doug. Self-harming, that's an illness. You should be in getting treatment. So there you go. Uh, Scotty, you're like the Reverend David Fairchild, Ricky Fulton. It's hell of a good water. Brian Wilson, thank you for that. I couldn't remember what he was called the first time because everybody goes, oh, yeah, like the Reverend, I am jolly. But it was David Fairchild and it was an observation of a Church of Scotland minister. But it was a very, very good observation. That was the genius of uh, the late, great Ricky Fulton. The man was a genius, his, his superb observation. And you couldn't tell them apart. If that had been a, a real life thing, obviously it would have been splashed across the front of the tablets, you know, that uh, the old tablets in the morning, the tabloids, it would have been uh, 
splashed across the front of them. In fact, I think I knew somebody that suffered from tabloids. So there you go. Brasso, that's a belt of Scottish, says Charles McLaughlin. Brighten the place up, the Charles. You're fair knocking back that council juice Scotty. Make sure you don't get caught short when you start your show. When I start my show, I will need to have a poll. So... <laughs> there we are. Scotty, is that a bookcase or a secret wall? It's a secret wall. It goes into McClure Towers, which is a massive, massive late Georgian, early Victorian pile. So there we are. Just a pile, not a house or anything. So marvellous stuff. What meeting boys are you show tonight representing Numpties Are Us, says Neil O'Gormley. Uh, it wasn't. It was David Goodchild, says Tony Richardson. Let me just check what he's called him. Uh, David Fairchild, so it was Goodchild, the Reverend David Goodchild, and that's when he came on. Do, 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 do. Hello. What kind of day have you had? I've had a hell of a day. <laughs> Just try it. Oh, that's delicious. Uh, you only need the tie if you take off your jumper. I could put my, my tie over my jumper. People used to do that. Do you remember that? Might try that. Mind or not be late for your show, Scotty. Ten o'clock sharp, mind, says Dino the Dog. What is the time, Dino? Oh, we've got plenty of time. Did you watch the McGregor fight last night, Scotty? Was this Rob Roy? Uh, Lee Robinson. I didn't actually see it. I have got a tie here. Hold hard, I say. No. Oh. Right. Tie. My Labrador tie. Okay. Shall I attempt to put it on live on the show? Marvellous, marvellous what of this. Did you watch the McGregor fight? Oh, I think the shot might be too tight, actually. There we are. Right. How's that, guys? Collar up? Now, this is the difficult bit because I'm seeing everything in reverse. Do you see what I mean? So it might be quite difficult to tie the tie. Oh, my goodness me. What is happening? Right. This is the tie. Let's see if we can get the tie on, and then you can decide tie on or off. Okay? So there we are. Now, this is what, Susan Forrest, this is what I was going to tell you about out the front of the jumper. Jeez. Oh, and, um, oh, 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 dear me. Right, folks, what do we think? Do we prefer, smart myself up there, do we prefer the tie? Now, you can have it out the front of the jumper. When I was wee, you saw old guys walking about like that. True, gen up, gen up. So there we are, I'll pop it into the, pop it into the jumper. <laughs> Oh, gee. Give out wins or not. <laughs> tie lessons. Yes, yes. You can't come in without a tie, as they say to me in the Far East. So there we are. <coughs> now, pardon me. How's that, guys? Does that look better? <coughs> oh, I've strangled myself there. Love it, says Sandra. How about that, guys? Right, there we are. Smartened myself up. Because I believe the way you dress is a mark of respect for who you're going to see. And I'm going to see you. The sailor went to see, 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 to see who he could see, see, see. Tie out in the jumper, says John Hanlon. You think the old gent look is perhaps a bit more? <laughs> I don't know. I'll leave this. Ladies, the ladies or no, ladies. You all know what it's like to have a big man looking smart. Now, come on. Uh, take the tie off, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Stop the nonsense, obviously. Show off them lovely labs. So there they are. There's the Labradors. Looks too official, Scotty. Man on a mission, says Alistair King. Well, I am a man on a mission. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Uh, not looks too official. So they're a mission impossible. That's me. <laughs> See what you think. Uh, Scotty, they should find your way to broadcast your phones on video online. Ties should be round your napa, says uh, John Rambo style. Yeah, the Rambo, I don't know if I'd suit that. Well, let me try it. I would need to keep the bonnet on, though. Uh, tie off, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Hello, Scotty, enjoy your show, the jingle of the keys. Do you remember? Now, guys, I don't know if you remember the ceremony of the keys. I better put the, the labs away for a minute, right? All food should be tested in the lab. 
<laughs> That's what the lab thinks anyway. Um, yes, and what we used to do, uh, the ceremony of the keys goes on at the Tower of London every night. And you hear the marching. Halt! Who goes there? The keys. Whose keys? Queen Elizabeth's keys. Pass Queen Elizabeth's keys. Lock up the tower. Yeah, and they lock up the Tower of London. Now, the only time this ceremony didn't take place was during the war, and somebody asked the king, the queen's father, King George the Sixth, uh, Your Majesty, uh, because of the bombing and everything tonight, we don't think the ceremony of the keys is going to be able to take place. And he said, no, that's fine. He said, please don't give the young guardsmen a row. I thought that was lovely of the king. Do they give it these young soldiers, you know, getting a row for not having the ceremony of the keys? But uh, that's the only one time it hasn't happened since, or probably the 1600s or something. So we used to close the program with the ceremony of the keys. Halt! Who goes there? The keys! Whose keys? McClure's keys! Pass McClure's keys. Lock up the mattress and the same at once. There we are. And the jingle of the keys. Drew Vlodsarkic. Vodsarkic. Um, love it. Goes with the wee scorn bonnets of Sandra McMillan. Absolutely the tie. Dean of the Doug. Let's start discussing a lifetime ban for Matey Boy. Well, we'll talk about that tonight. Uh, and I'll say you brought it up. Dean of the Doug. See how popular you will become. Here, Scotty, are you on the tonic tonight? Replying to Dean of the Doug, I agree, Dino, says Susan Forrest. So excellent stuff. So we'll see what happens. Uh, does Susan Forrest, do you agree with uh, discussing a ban for Matey Boy on the show? Right? We will, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Wonderful. Now, if you've just joined us, everybody, you'll be watching globally throughout the world. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster and the world's most humble man. And uh, here we are. I'm going live on the radio, on Nation Radio, 96.3 FM in central Scotland or www.nationradio.scot on the internet or go to the app store and download radio player and put in nation radio 96.3 fm scotland and that's you connected absolutely brilliantly so there we are wonderful stuff right get down to business scotty what about the single mothers so there you are yes and a woman tonight she said are you still against single mothers said never ever against just trying to advise them you know, they should have kept their horn in their hitney. That's all. Uh, keep Matey Boy on, says Steve Burrows. No! Keep Matey Boy on, says D. Gurley. Hi, Scotty. Good evening, says Chris Higgins. Fantastic. Uh, remover. Play my song. Uh, go, Lassie, go. Fantastic. I love it. I love it. Uh, Neil O'Gonley. Don't ban Matey Boy. We need numpties. Fantastic. Rab Hill. I found the keys. Um, no unclaimed then, so I thought they must be Don Keys. Hee-haw, hee-haw, says Rab. Very good, Rab. Remember I meant, yes, remember. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Great Gallagher, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. If you've all just joined me, it's Scotty McClure. Why didn't you tell me my tie was down? For goodness sake, folks. What's wrong with a bit of practical criticism? Hi, Scotty. Love seeing you live. This is Jacqueline McFarlane. I thank you, Jacqueline, and Dinky Doo, but you'll be hearing me live at 10 o'clock sharp right across central Scotland and across Scotland and no doubt beyond as well. So there you are, Dave Harley. Dinky Doo from me, Scotty McClure. Now, guys, do me a big, 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 big favour. All right, very important this, and you must do this, because although the show's got Scotty McClure's name on it, it's your show. Keep up the good work, Scotty, says Chris Higgins. I thank you, Chris. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Matthew Roberts says, Wishaw is full of single mothers and bampots, Scotty. Wishaw. 
Yes, is it the single mother capital of Europe? I ask you. Uh, can you do this on the radio show, Scotty? Says Thomas Hamilton. Yes, we can do all sorts on the radio show, Thomas Hamilton. It's a fantastic radio show. Right, guys, do me a big, big favor here. Go to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. You'll see the links for it. You should see them on Facebook. I don't know if I've got a bit mixed up, and I think you see everything. I put up when I put it up. Maybe you don't see it for some time because of the overcapacity. But, um, you know, uh, go on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel and click subscribe. Go on to Scotty McClure's Facebook page and click like. Click follow. Follow me at Scotty McClure on Twitter, those of you that have got Twitter accounts. Do you have a main topic of discussion for tonight? says David Turner. We are discussing lots of different things tonight, David Turner. I don't like to divulge anything because the opposition will be in a paroxysm of panic that Scotty McClure is in the market. You know the famous marketing saying? All the big agencies will tell you, whoever has McClure has the market. There we are. Why are you getting all dolled up when you're going on the radio, says Rab Hill. This is not dolled up, Rab Hill. You should see me dolled up. Oh, I'll tell you, this is just cash. This is cash. Uh, Scotty, you'd better get your shift. The nation is waiting, says Paul McCulley. I know, Paul, but we've got plenty of time. Yes, it's only uh, coming up to half past. In fact, I will actually have to push off soon because um, I want to speak to the wizard of the big switchboard about you lot. So there you are. So push off soon. Scotty, I get my new radio tomorrow. I'm 67, um, 8th, and I'm getting a radio as a present. So I'll be able to hear you. You will indeed put me on the FM 96.3. In fact, every single one of you. Tune in to Nation Radio on 96.3 now. It's a superb radio station. And, of course, tomorrow, Derek McIntyre, the breakfast show presenter, is in Dubai. Wonderful man. And, uh, you know, worked with him for years. And he's in Dubai, and he's giving away a holiday. You can win a holiday to Dubai. I was going to go to the airport and say, Dubai. There we go. Where's Sharice? <coughs> Alistair King. I'm a single father, and something else, I just missed that. I just had a lovely slow-cooked slab of beef scotty with all the veg, made by a lovely woman. There's a bit with your name on it. I thank you. I like the beef. Uh, John O'Rourke, dinky do. Excellent stuff. I don't know what you've put up there, John O'Rourke. You want to get that off? My goodness me. There we go. You can get blocked for that sort of thing, John Rook. Uh, so where do you get? Bell's Hill is full of rockets claiming they're gyros, says Greg McCarthy. Listen, nowadays, with the crowd that we've got in, you would not get your gyro if you weren't due it. So that's the one thing I can tell you. So there you go, because they've just about cleared every dude that doesn't deserve a gyro. Link to your radio show. No, John O'Rourke, that wasn't my radio show that you linked. That was some other radio show. So there are the link to my radio show. You will get up there, nationradio.scot. Got Nation Radio on my phone, says Steve Burroughs. Excellent stuff. Steve Burroughs. Excellent. So, John, uh, you know, you must have uh, missed it. We must have had a wee misunderstanding there. And that was another link. Oops, lol. John, John O'Rourke. Excellent. Well done. I understand a genuine mistake. An error of judgment. Not a problem. Wonderful, wonderful. Right. I think I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to have to go now, guys, uh, because I'm on the radio at 10 o'clock and I've got to get to the studios. So, I say to you, have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday evening. Love you all lots. Join me in 25 minutes time at 96.3 FM in Scotland. If you're throughout the rest of the universe, you'll get us on nationradio.scot or download the radio player, download the radio player and uh, get onto the app there. Uh, so there we are, Gyro. How old are they? Says David Harley. That's what they said. What's the highest mountain in Liverpool? And it used to be, kill a man for his gyro. 
<laughs> Mount Kilimanjaro for his gyro. No star, says Julianne. Thanks very much, John and Rick. Well done. Good luck with the show, says Dee Gourley. Come and join us, Dee, and we'll speak to you. Phone us up. Everybody can phone 0141 811 0475. So there you are. Mr. Roberts, I think you'll find the sun rotates round, Wishy. Dinky do, says Wendy Walker. Tony Mack, fantastic. I can't believe I've got to go and leave you all now. Mwah! Dinky do!